this is my audio diary and the date is almost 7 to midnight the 25th of the 12th 2021 and in this video I'm going to talk about many different topics firstly we're going to go through some photos I took maybe three years ago these slides we have a cave here people are walking into a cave this is Dunmore Caves Kilkenny so they're coming from the light into the darkness and you can see some more light in the cave there could be a art of, it could be um, light bulbs so they're walking in there's the light shining through a gap and some steps this stage I think uh, I was leaving we were going out of the caves uh, up through the light there's another section lit up well lit up spectacular there's another part formations are like millions of years old or thousands not too sure Fascinating though. There's some more artificial light. More formations there. Creation. And you can see the stalagmites quite perfect in their way. They're actually the, the you know they'd be the, the best uh, some of the best features of the cave I suppose well they're, they're all lovely like stalagmites are particularly amazing and there's another great photo cook very sound and great um, lighting it's an amazing one it's like it's like uh, the scene of Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom which is the scene where you know, except it's like underground and looks like hell. Right. Um, so the allegory of the cave. This is where we're at in society, really. Everyone. To different degrees. You can see that picture there is a uh, sketch is demonstrating Plato's cave, the allegory of the cave. Plato realizes that the general run of humankind can think and speak, etc., without so far as they acknowledge any awareness of his realm of, of forms. In the allegory, Plato likens people untutored. In the theory of forms to prisoners chained in the cave unable to turn their heads it's a little bit like um the mobile phones you know. we're looking down towards the earth on these phones uh, unable to look up the majestic globe that is beautiful creation all they can see is the wall of the cave. Behind them burns a fire. Between the fire and the prisoners, there is a parapet, along which puppeteers can walk. The puppeteers who are being, who are behind prisoners, hold up puppets that cast shadows on the wall of the cave. The prisoners are unable to see these puppets, the real objects. That pass behind them. What the prisoners see and hear are shadows and echoes cast by objects that they do not see. Here is an illusion of Plato's cave. So, such prisoners would mistake appearance for reality. They would think that things they see on the wall, the shadows, were real. They would know nothing of the real causes of the shadows so when the prisoners talk what they, are they talking about an object a book let's say 
is carried past behind them cast a shadow on the wall so basically this is a great allegory for society and how we've been we're told we've been um, taught language and this means this and a book means a book and a chair means a chair and we've been fed all this information from the system from our schools from our institutions and everything's a lie basically so yeah that's what that's that's the crack like and uh i've i've kind of realized you know if things get me down i just have to keep going with uh my creation uh doing these videos and i'm only making a start really like so and doing my writing it's the bit you know if something was on my mind today and i i just thought to myself i just have to plow on with my just plow the field, leave it behind, leave it behind and uh, just keep keep going up the highway, out, out, out through, through, through the ranch, that's what we have to do, drive on, so yeah, the, the, the prisoners of the public, the unsuspected general public, the punters and us, it's thing we, you know, everyone. And the puppeteers are the, you know, the showmen, the puppeteers are the news media, our politicians, our sports personalities, pop stars, film, music and TV. It's all fabricated. It's all a matrix. That's, this is uh, the, the, the ideas. It's all a matrix. And the shadow, I suppose, is the content you know, the television, the content which is fake. So it's bread and circuses, as uh, Caesar, the Julius Caesar quoted, he gives them bread and circuses. So, and when you see the sunlight, the, when you ascend, as there's a section there, there's... section there ascend to the sunlight your um it's illumination not illumination not ill because ill means sick that's the spell there's the fire the roadway where puppet showmen perform yeah out of the roads it's the diffused light the shadows cast on the wall and it's all fake frequencies it's all um it's a theater, really. That's what it is. It's a, uh, it's a mind game. It's it's a theater. It's the theater of fake. It's the matrix. It's the system, the cyst that comes out of the stem. Uh, and uh, if you want to suck cyst, you have to suck it up in the cesspool because that's what it is. A cesspool and acknowledge you have to, you're aching for the knowledge aching for the knowledge the cave is the home the television the laptop the cave yeah the looking down to the phones the distraction it's all a distraction Puppet masters, the strings are moving. Across all games, the strings are moving. Who's controlling the strings? The big boys, the fat cats, controlling the strings. And, uh, you know, there's soldiers in the game, soldiers. Like a jury of the trial, so jurors. And the juror means the law of the soul, which the soul is to die, that's what it means. The 
So Jur. Soul's law. The law of the soul is to die. That's what they, you know, you die to consumers and you die to entertainment, you die to your drug of choice, you die to your lifestyle. Soldier and soup of the juror. Soup of the juror, which is, comes from the French word of the day. Means either an item served in a restaurant on a particular day, something that is happening or popular at the current time, month, this year. You know what that reminds me of. We all we all know that, like you know, current time. Say paninis were famous in two thousand during the wars, Gulf War, whatever. Super de jour. The soul, soul soup. Yeah. It's like the Catholics were made captive by the, by the Protestants, and it, they, they had to convert. They had to drink the soup, basically. Like, you know, that's it. That was the, the threat. That's the soup of the soul, soul. The soul, soul of the law is to die. The soup of the soul. That's what. The, that's what it is today. Like in a lot of cases, but in a lot of cases, with the food, with the with the alcohols, with the medications, all that stuff. Yeah. The law of the soul is to die. Soup of the soup of the jewel soup. Of the soul and the VAT VAT value added tax the VAT again VAT well it's all linked it's the spider's web and the cave the cave and when something is looming as I heard years ago from my mother back when I was 11 or 12 you know it was like the year 2000 seemed, or 1999 and 2000 seemed like centuries away, like, like far off into the distant future. And she said it was looming, like, yeah, looming. So, appear as a vague form, especially one that is large and threatening. Vehicles looming in the darkness, you know, deer in the headlights. An event regarded as threatening seems about to happen. There is a crisis looming. Common thread in our media, in society, in events, in all these events that are up and coming. The advertiser first is like, get your stakes in on sale. Don't don't store it. You know, it's like advertising. And then you go get your steaks, you know, because they're half price, because it, it advertised beforehand. So it was looming, like the steaks for sale was looming, because they advertised it, and it was all brilliant, like, which is good. Go get your steaks. But nothing sells like fear. Nothing. Yeah. So that's the cave, that's um, the allegory of the cave, Plato's cave, basically like here we have a picture and a description, Plato's allegory of the cave is a concept devised by the philosopher to ruminate on the nature of belief versus knowledge, so it's one thing to know it's not here to believe, like, and then we all have beliefs. The allegory states that there is existing prisoners chained together in the cave, and Plato posits that one prisoner could become free. He finally sees the fire, realizes the shadows are fake. That's seeing the wolf from the trees, seeing the, you know, seeing the 
know that the shadows are fake see the wood and the trees and you're looking back in the distance see the wood from the trees so oh thank you and I've gone into 15 minutes anyway please like share subscribe and um, talk to you soon